Today we're doing potato chip cookies. I found this recipe in a book called The Ultimate Cake Mix Cookie Book. I actually found this at a thrift store, a secondhand store, and it's by Camilla Salisbury. So starting off with the cake mix, a white cake mix. I am using a the store brand because I find very little difference between store brand and Duncan Hines or Betty Crocker or those name brands. Add two eggs to a powdered cake mix, one quarter cup of brown sugar, and half a cup of softened butter. And then blend that together with an electric mixer or with a wooden spoon until it's well combined. Now we're going to add the, good, the yumminess. Two cups of crushed potato chips, they're just plain potato chips, and one cup of butterscotch chips. And I didn't have enough butterscotch chips to make a cup so I added a few white chocolate chips just to make the cup measure. You can add chocolate to this if you'd like as well or leave the chips out but I did find the butterscotch chips added a really nice flavor to this recipe and just stir that until combined. Then you're going to place scoops of the dough on a greased cookie sheet or one covered with parchment paper or with a silicone mat and I found that they spread a little bit so put them at least two inches apart. I'm making really big cookies here because I like really big cookies. You can certainly um, make smaller cookies by using a tablespoon measure instead. Then bake them at 350 degrees, 9 to 12 minutes until they are set and the bottoms are lightly browned. I'm just showing you the texture inside. They're lightly crispy on the outside, nice and soft on the inside. The cookies actually stay soft. After you bake them and you put them in a storage container and they're very nice. Makes about a dozen cookies if you make huge ones like I did. And there they are. These are really interesting. You, you can't really taste the potato chips flavor strongly. It does have a really nice sweet and salty taste to them. The potato chips add a little bit of a crunchy texture to them. I actually gave this these to people and I didn't tell them what they were. I said, taste this cookie and tell me what you taste. They tasted them. They liked them. They could taste the butterscotch. They could taste the saltiness. But um, they were a little bit surprised when I told them there were potato chips inside. Once I did tell them that, they all kind of said, oh yeah, you know what? I can taste them a little in there. So the potato chips aren't overpowering in this. And it's a, kind of a really fun cookie to try out on your friends. Give them a try.